Welcome back. Like I said, we have a studio guest and let me give you a quick glimpse into the life of our guest. Um, her names are Lilo Ade Rodba, hmm. or Bulu Atifair Lilo Ade Rodba. And she'll tell us where Lilo came from in a short bit. She's um, a Big Brother season five housemaid themed lockdown. A native of Oshun State, just like me. She lives in Lagos and she is a dietitian who specializes in weight loss therapy. She loves to try new things and hates people who can mind your business. She also loves to be in control at all times. Lilo Adirodba graduated from Babcock University and is very fashionable. She is known for not liking people in a personal space, but unfortunately for her, or fortunately, I will be encroaching her space. How you doing, Lilo? Welcome. Hi. To the show. Thank you for it's, having it's, me. It's on a the pleasure show. to have you, definitely. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what exactly? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so you've had several interviews since yes, your exit from the house. Sure. And in one of those interviews, you said Eric took advantage of you. We'll like you to enlighten oh, us. Yeah, more. sure. I'm definitely going to enlighten. So the word advantage in that statement, it wasn't neg negative. Mm. So Eric liked me mm. and obviously I friend zoned him. Mm. And obviously when I started liking him back in that sense, mm -hmm. he took advantage of it and didn't, you know, something you've been waiting for. So he embraced, he grabbed like mm. what I gave to him. Like, oh, okay, oh, she's feeling me, it's okay. And then, yeah, that's the word advantage. You know, like we didn't sleep together or anything. So it wasn't like he took advantage of anything that I felt bad about. I just said he took advantage of the fact that I was giving him a green light and, mm. you know, he was down for us being a thing in the house. All right. So, thank, I'm, I'm so glad you clarified that because yeah. a lot of people were like, take advantage. Because my question was, is that the right term to use? But um, I think with what you've said, that explains it. Yeah. But um, I'm sure by now it's evident to you that fame has its advantages and disadvantages. For sure. How do you intend to deal with the trolls? Because that's my major concern for you. <laughs> I know. I mean, coming out, I was obviously trying to see what's going on on you know, the internet. Mm. But there's definitely always going to be negativities and positivities. So what I've done is try to ignore all the negative things people are throwing at me because I know mm. my worth and I know what I've got within me. So I've just tried to ignore all of that and just focus on the platform I've got now because Big Brother has given me such a huge opportunity and, you know, so much to do with what I have become or what I'm becoming. So I'm just focusing on life outside the house and how I could be the best of me and how I can make use of everything mm -hmm. I've got and not focus on what people have to say because regardless, they're always going to speak. So I've just ignored every negative vibe they're throwing at me. All right. So with all those things that you've seen, if you get a chance to go back into the house right Yo. now, what would you do differently? I would definitely not be attached to Eric. Well, I mean, we'll still be friends, but all of that wouldn't happen. Because mm. at the end of the day, I was myself in the house. I was, I'm literally the person to observe what is going on in my environment. I cannot make friends with 19 people in a week or even in two weeks. I need to know, notice them, observe the kind of their personalities, and mm. then pick the ones I, I, I see have the same vibe as me and we can connect. And that's how I pick my friends. So I was literally doing me in the house by keeping to myself and observing because I'm sure people knew, like, I'm, bro, I'm smart. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. but people only saw the fact that I was with Eric. So mm. they, ignored, maybe, they ignored the fact that maybe she's keeping to herself and, you know, trying to see what's going on. They mm. only picked the Lilo and Eric. So there was, you know, really never a Lilo moment. So it was oh, always my. Lilo and Eric. But you know what they say, Eve wishes for horses. <laughs> beggars will ride. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but um, let's just make this a little bit lighter and have some fun. So let's yes, play please, game. Let's go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, so you have sovereign power to evict two people from the Big oh, Brother man. house. Who would they be and why? Sovereign power, this one, you are Biggie. You are, <laughs> you are calling the shots. I think even Biggie can just evict people. It's yeah, yeah, game, but yes. this time now we're giving um, you that authority. I, I don't know. I. I mean, everyone deserves to be in the house. Everyone has a reason to be in the house. So I wouldn't really evict anyone. Oh, you're yeah. playing it safe. I'm not playing it safe. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just being me. <laughs> okay, so if you can select one winner, you also have the sovereign power to do this. Okay. One winner for the Big Brother season five. Yeah. Who would it be? To be fair, the game is not even halfway gone yet. So you can't really say. 
No, not from uh, from what you saw. From what? Yeah, who would it be? So the thing is, being in the house, I saw something different, and coming out, it's a different thing. So I can't really pick. You're playing safe. You're I'm playing, not playing safe. safe. I, thought, I thought you like to try new things. Come yeah, on, let's try. Let's call people I out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pick a winner for the show, but I'll, I can for sure say Ozo is doing a good job. Mm. Yeah, he's playing his games right. So I Ozo so is your he's man. He's a smart guy. So mm. yeah, I think he's doing a good one. All right. So what did you get a fake vibe from in the house? Um, I could say V. V. Yeah, coming yeah, out of the house. You also said yeah. that, that you were disappointed that V um, nominated you, mm. right? Or it kind of hurt your feelings, right? Um. It didn't hurt my feelings because maybe it's something I'm kind of used to, but maybe I forgot it's a game. So her nominating me could be her strategy. So maybe she did what she, th she probably did what she thought was best for her. Mm -hmm. So I'm not judging her or anything, but I didn't expect it from her. So that's it. It's not like I'm judging her, but I definitely didn't expect I didn't see that coming. All right. So what kept it real for you? <sighs> We kept it real for me. I could say um, Bright has always been my guy, like, since we got into the house. Like, we spoke and, mm. you know, but we definitely didn't get to spend enough time Our together. Pastor. <laughs> Our pastor. But, like, I mean, every time, I'm sure you guys heard me saying Bright, too. Like, yeah. I would always say hi to him, always. But we never, apart from, like, the one time we spoke deeply, we never got to hang out much in mm. the house. So I could say Bright, Bright. All right, so final game question. Kiss, date, marry. Mm. Kiss. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you kissed Eric, so Eric is not even on that list. Okay. <laughs> All right, so kiss, um, let's lay on. Mari, um, Bright, and shoot. Who would that be? You want me to kiss lay on? No, I'm asking. Okay, kiss, so. Who would you kiss out of um, lay on, um, Bright, and okay. um, shoot one person? I'm not going to call a name for the who you're going to shoot. Okay, so I meant to pick. Um, Lay on bright to kiss and mm. marry one of them, mm -hmm. and I meant to kill. I meant mm -hmm. to mention. Shoot, yeah. I won't shoot anybody, <laughs> but kiss and marry lay on or bright. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> okay, so I would say I would, bra. That's a tough one. I know. That's why it's there. <laughs> Okay, I would kiss. I could kiss. Oh man, this is just a game, guys. I it's a game, <laughs> totally. We know. And do I have to answer? Yes, you do. Okay, you, you skip two questions already. Okay, okay I'll kiss Bright mm -hmm. and Mary Lincoln. It's a game. And you shoot who? I would shoot nobody. V. <laughs> Good night. V. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you said that, not me though. Yeah, yeah, you but maybe that, you said me. maybe it's all right. All right, so you had the thing with Eric in the house, and yet yeah. you're back with your man outside the house. Yeah. Um, do you have an open relationship going on? No. So it's a one girl, one guy thing. Going yeah. On. And um, if your boyfriend did exactly what you did, what would be your reaction? I would ask him why he did it. Mm. And. <sighs> I mean, I think I'm a forgiving person, so yeah, but... You let it go. Everybody makes... I won't let... I'll probably talk about it. I'll nag about it for a very long time. And there won't be trust issues. Bruh. <laughs> don't do this. No, 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 no. Let's just do this. Let's, let's talk about it. You don't need... Yeah, sure. Much. But I mean, he's probably going to be a better person than me, and we don't do that, so yeah. So you feel like you're a bad person for doing that? I expected better. I expected better from myself, and I'm sure I did as well. Everyone probably expected more from me than that. All right. So Eric um, made a call recently that you should wait for him. Would you be waiting? <laughs> and if he comes back and he's on on bended knees and is like, "Well, babe, I need you. I want you. I want you in my life. Would you take Eric?" <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I have in mind, like, I'm, I'm in a relationship. But, I mean, Eric and I spoke about it, and he knows I'm in a relationship, so. He should just forget about you and move on. 
<laughs> I said it. Do you want? Do you want to stick to that? <laughs> All right. So um, every disappointment is said to be a blessing. So would you? What would you say is the most important life lesson you took away from the Big Brother? House? Um, I'm definitely going to say not to lose focus. Always stay focused. Don't let anything get in the way of whatever you're pursuing and. You know, stay focused. That's the main. That's the most important thing. Don't get distracted by anything. Yeah, always stay focused. So let's put Big Brother aside now and just ask you your question. What is one thing you wish you showcased about yourself that you didn't get the chance to a that lot. people don't know about Lilo? Obviously, Tell right us, now, I'm like two my, or three. I'm wearing my brand, like the um, blouse and the pants I'm wearing is Lilo's closet. Um, oh. That as well, and also. I'm a dietitian. I feel like I should have put like some dietetic mm -hmm. skills in mm -hmm. like the kitchen. But I was going to do that, but I was taking my time because not everyone wants to eat healthy because mm -hmm. there's a lot of junk in the house. So I don't want to, I don't want them to feel like, oh, what's she doing? Why is she making us eat this or whatnot? So I was definitely going to notice the people that are probably interested in that part of me. And we must have done something together in the house based on eating healthy and doing you know what we got to do so that and people obviously didn't get to see me say a lot in the house so yeah it was gonna be my my clothing line my profession and obviously this side of me yeah right so i just want you to know that you're a winner in our eyes so thank you, so thank you for having tea with us and i hope we do this again for sure thank you for having me all right and tea time we'll be right back after <laughs> this break <laughs> 